Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all a Savage Strike Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack opening. Picked up some of the blister packs for the set at the store today. I always like to keep an eye out uh, for these in the store, obviously, when they come out. Just because after the box opening, I'm always, you know, itching to open some more of these packs. It's a really awesome uh, set with plenty of cool support for all different types of decks, especially for Synchro. And as you saw by the title, I also have a um, special uh, pack to open at the end of the video as well. I thought I would put them all in one video because I figured just five packs would be too short of a video in total. So well, I'll show that at the end as well. But before that, let's go ahead and get started with the Savage Strike opening. So we got five packs. I figure that would be enough to do for one opening uh, for the video just to see how we can do. Test my luck. I think last time I did a Soul Fusion opening. I did get one secret from five packs, so I was pretty happy uh, about that. But let's see how we do with these. We got a Guard Dragons Core Awakening to start off with. Time Thief Beazle Ship. We've got a Neos Fusion for our Super Rare. And we've got a World Legacy World Arc for the Rare. We got a Time Thief Booster Raptor, Squirt Squid, Aloof Lupin. Nope, nowhere to be found in that one. Separate the Hollows and the Rares. So if we can get if we get five supers. That'll be my answer on what not to do with blister packs. If we can at least get something higher than a super, I'll be happy. We have a Catch Eve L2 to start us off. Prank Kid Roxy's Shinobi Necro. Oh, we've got a Final Light Ultra Rare. This card loves me, I swear. I pulled so many of this Ultra Rare, it's not even funny. I really hope Valkyries do end up going somewhere, but I don't know if you play more than one or two of this in a deck for sure. And we've got a Hyper Psychic Riser for the rare. Anything else? Salmon Greats. Definitely excited for those two. Can't wait until that deck comes out. All right, pack number three. Let's see how we do. We've got a Super and then Ultra. Let's have this one be a secret. That's what I want to see luck wise for sure. There's another Catch Eve. Claybreaker, Salmon Great Paro. Oh my god, that's awesome. We did pull a secret. Sweet. Witch's Strike Secret Rare is actually a pretty good one, too. Now, that is a pattern I like to see. Awesome. That is great. And what's great is if you remember, which I, I'll throw the video um, at the end for you all to see as well, from my Soul Fusion pack opening, I pulled Condemned Witch. It was either that one or Cybernetic Horizon. I don't remember which pack it came out of, but Condemned Witch, which is the card on this one. So I I find that funny that I pulled this card again from a five pack booster open. That is great though. That was the luck right there for pack number three. And we've got a fusion of fire for the rare. That is cool. That is what I like to see. I was joking completely about that order, but I will take it from there. All right. Did we use up all the luck? Do I still want to do the special pack opening at the end? Yeah, I definitely do. I want to see what is in that pack. But pack number four for Savage Strike. That is great. That made me happy right there for sure. Salmon Great Paro, Update Jammer, Neo Space Connector. We have a Valkyrie Viert for our Super Rare. And we have a Salmon Great Violet Chimera for the Rare. Okay, for the last pack of Savage Strike, I want to see if I pull an Ultra, then that means I bought one too many, too few packs. I should have got six, because then the pattern would have been the six pack would have been a Super Rare. But I think the ratios for like all of the uh, secret rares and whatnot, I think it's like 1 in 12, just like a box if you look at it. 1 in 6 for an ultra and 1 in 12 for a secret, which isn't too, too bad overall, but still. Very, very good for five packs for sure. We start with Neo Space Connector. There's Aloof Lupine, Cybers Integrator. Oh my god, that's so no, that is insane! Awesome! Sweet, that, that completely blew that pattern out of the wall. That is insane. Oh my god. Five packs. I am not complaining. That is so cool. We pulled another secret. Great. And it's a good one too. This was way better than the secrets I pulled from. I'm just going, I, I love doing box openings, but clearly blisters are the way to go for me and this booster pack. That is so cool. Awesome. Great. 
and we got a detonate deleter for our rare. Oh, that is just too cool. Did I overcounted. Was there nine cards in this pack? Four, or five, six, seven. I'm just you know shaking, getting nervous, but that is you can't beat that. You literally can't. That is so great. All right, gotta calm down. Gotta get rid of all the savage strike. I'm not gonna call it garbage because. This and the other secret are definitely not garbage. But that is awesome. Great. I am, sound like I'm yelling. But let's get to the surprise now. I picked one of these up. Uh, you know, gotten these booster packs before. Uh, did I even say the name? Obviously, Psychic Wielder, <laughs> the name of the card. I, I'm still excited. But I picked up one of these at the store as well. I love seeing the good booster packs you can pull from these. And this one had two Flames of Destruction and one Mega Pack. I can't see. I think it's one of the later Mega Packs, honestly. But this is really, really cool. I thought the two packs were definitely well worth it, along with the uh, Mega Booster Pack. Couldn't see what the promo is, but if I remember correctly, last time I opened one of these, I did get Vision Hero Vion as the promo. Let's see how I do. I quickly, I've got like some big foil, Ben. But you see we've got the three, and it's a 2017 Mega Tin Pack, so that's not... Uh, too bad uh, for sure and let's see what we got for our promo oh that is awesome i am so happy with this opening like literally just <laughs> call by the grave super rare you can't beat that for a promo that is cool I aside from the you know the hollow ben i can easily get rid of that but i'm loving this opening and let's hope the luck continues with the last three packs we got sweet i honestly thought it was just going to be some random card but clearly they you know <laughs> knew what they were doing let's pull some call of the graves now from these as well that is cool. I am a happy camper. All right, first pack of Flames of Destruction. Let's see if we can find some more Call by the Graves. We can start with Gurgen's end. Oh, you know, I spoke too soon. Awesome, great, very, very nice. Vendred Nightmare, uh, Red Reboot, and that's good for a super for sure. And we have a Sanctified Dark Lord. I would actually prefer Red Reboot to some of the ultras in this set honestly and as i say that i'm going to pull that altar from this pack crystal conclave very big fan of the crystal beasts as well all right next pack like i said not complaining that was an awesome pack opening beforehand and hopefully you didn't just skip to the end of the video to see the surprise pack if you did go back and see the rest of the savage strike opening because I, well, I think that's going to blow away the rest of the opening for sure mama maki and we have yep they heard me the element savers which take up a good amount of the ultras heard me and gave me that super with this pack and we have a world legacies struggle for the rare waking the dragons pretty good common all right but let's end it with the mega tin pack 2017 if i remember correctly there is like some dark magician support in this set that you can pull so let's see how we do we have a shino bird pigeon performer pal seal eel ancient gear howitzer fairy tale sleeper scape ghost uh, ninjutsu art notebook up oh, for our super we have a pre-preparation of rights for our secret yep and as i said it we have the dark magician support dark magical circle secret rare for our ultra we have masterpiece the true draco slayer switch a ruru for our rare and then let's see what we got for the rest of the commons bad aim bug matrix red warg horse stilts and shino bird salvation so all in all i'm very very happy with the opening of all the packs for sure even like i think the best part of all those was the promo we got from that uh, box but for everything else awesome very very happy for sure and i hope you all enjoyed the opening until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out